Hey what's going on guys, it is Link's Warlord and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play the map Dome by yourself and I'm going to be showing you how to do extremely well on Dome to get a hell of a lot of kills. I could have easily gotten 100 kills in this game but I just I couldn't do it at the last few minutes. But I'm going to be showing you guys how you can probably get 100 kills on the map Dome easily and without a team. Now the way I'm going to be doing this mainly is through kill streaks and uh, map, map knowledge. My kill streak as you can see are the Predator Missile, the AGM Reaper and the Osprey Gunner. Why am I using those three? Now a lot of you are probably thinking right now, well you can't get a Osprey gun out of a Predator missile and a Reaper and a AGM Reaper and the fact is you can. You can very very easily. It's a lot easier on ground war because your Reaper can get more kills. But a Reaper, 9 out of 10 times, well I'd say f 7 out of 10 times can lead you to your Osprey gunner. It's you d when you when you've just got it on in the pave low, you don't realise how many how many kills the, the reaper actually gets you, and the predator missile just helps you to get to the reaper. If you want, you can have the attack helicopter on, but definitely, definitely, the reaper will lead you to the osprey gunner. And once you've got the osprey gunner, depending on whether or not it gets shot, it gets shot down. You can really do some damage. And in this game, guys, you're going to see I do do some damage, and it even they do try to shoot it down, but I'm too quick with it, and and it just it shows them up, and I and I kill them, guys. Now. This area right here that I'm at now is going to be one of the strongest places you can go on this map. It's a nice little hideaway. People run right past it and don't even realise. And you'll see that later on in the game when I do get a nice little triple kill. Because three enemies just run right past me. And I pick them off just like that. Get um, gets me to my reaper again. Now, tips for the reaper on this map is you need to try and swing it into places. Like, you need to mark the ground. And then if you're inside, you need to like move your crosshair a little bit across the map. And try and swing it indoors. It's quite a difficult manoeuvre I do, but swinging your reaper is definitely the best idea. And you will see there, I did actually destroy a helicopter with that. Definitely, whenever playing with the reaper, make sure to uh, destroy enemy kill streaks as best you can because that will get you a point and it will also stop your team from dying, which means your team can capture flags and stuff like that. Now, tips for the osprey gunner. The way to get good with the osprey gunner is to get it a lot and to and to get used to it yourself right because I can give you a few general tips but I'm not going to tell you the best way to use it but I think the best way to use it by far is to put your care packages in the middle of the action because then it takes you the um, the gunner itself to the action because if you don't know when you select where to put your Osprey gunner that's selecting where to drop the care packages okay and what you want to do is you just need to ignore the care packages because by the time you're out of the Osprey Gunner the chances are they're all gone or all the good ones have been taken and what you want to do is you want to just dump your care packages in the middle of the action and the reason you want to do that is because it's going to make the enemies want to come outside so that's what you want to do, drag the enemies outside, you shoot them with your Osprey Gunner ignore the care packages and as you can see perfectly here is you want to keep shooting them even when they've just spawned when they've just spawned they won't die they've got something like 300 times more health i think it's they've got about 5000 health so you can't kill them in an osprey gunner whilst you've got once they've just spawned so you need to just keep shooting them like that and that will um and that will just remind yourself where they are okay so but whenever you're in the osprey gunner keep shooting so you can find the hit markers stay on them and wait for them to lose all that starting health so you can then kill them like a normal enemy you know I'll explain that a little bit later on though in my next Osprey Gunner because I do get another one in this game now as you can notice in this game I am not going for the flags currently however we do still win because obviously this is the way this is the way I like to play Call of Duty by getting nice little triple kills just like that and by killing little guys hiding in there where there's an explosive bar that's a nice way to kill them but as I was saying guys Capturing flags, it's a it's a strange balance. You've definitely got to get the right balance because yes, we want to get a lot of kills and get a massively high KD, like 89 kills. But on the other hand, we've still got to win the game because a true player does both and he will sacrifice his life a few times just to get on the flag, right? And you will see that at the end, guys, because the reason I'm doing that is because yes, I probably could have got 100 kills if I didn't do that, but I'm doing that because I got a 65 to 5 on mission, which was a lovely gameplay. The gameplay was so nice. Two Osprey Gunners. I think it was a killer confirmed or domination, but we lost, and we actually lost because of me going for that ma that amount of kills. And I'm thinking, well, actually, I'll upload that gameplay if you want to see it. I've had it for quite a while, but I don't really want to upload it because of the fact we lost the game. And it's stupid if you're losing the game, especially if you're a decent player like me. You should be a bit more mature about it. But yeah, if you want to see it, you just tell me. Now, back to the gameplay now, guys. You can see. Um, this team I'm playing is obviously a team of uh, high octane rushers. They're rushing towards me like there is no tomorrow. You'll see later on I get killed by FMJ nines and UMP rapid fighters. I think that's the only guns they've got or ever heard of in this game. But that's the only way I'm getting killed, guys. So I need to make sure that I am looking down my sights to where they're spawning. And right then we had them trapped on C flag, which means they're just going to spawn in there and we can easily kill them. 
you know so that's a nice way to do it now I'm gonna give an update quickly a channel update on this series that I've recently put out um what is it again running with shit the class suggested was the juggernaut the juggernaut silenced with uh, stinger and some crappy perks basically and I've recently I, I did about 10 games with that and I, the best game I got was a normal 6 v 6 team death match where I went 16 to 3 that will be uploaded sometime next week but the way that's going to work from now on is everyone suggests a class in the in the comment section and the one that gets the most thumbs up in the comments will then be the one that I use because a lot of people suggested really good classes that kind of went unseen but I obviously saw all of them and it's too hard to choose now because like even in the first video I've had enough classes that would last me the full amount of this Call of Duty if I did one video a week with that class so I need people to suggest, I need everyone to agree on one class and then I'll run with that and we'll get some nice uh, shitty shitty gameplay because 16 to 3 team deathmatch it's pretty damn bad now back in the house gonna guys now as you can see I'm getting a load of hit markers and I'm getting a load of hit markers because they've just spawned and as mentioned earlier they spawn with a ridiculous amount of health you can't kill them but it's nice to mark them and because they haven't appeared on the radar just keep on shooting constantly be shooting in the osprey gunner so you can find out where they've spawned and once they've spawned just keep shooting at them so once their health like disappeared from um, from their starting health then you can kill them so that's best definitely the best way to do it now this osprey gunner on dome works fantastic it works absolutely fantastic we've got them on a triple cap so they're going to be spawning all over the place and i'm just happy to be taking them out share package i'm helping the team by calling in the osprey gunner a lot of people don't think the osprey gunner is a team kill streak but I can look at it as a team kill streak because I'm dumping my care packages there and my team can have them. I've got no problem giving away my Osprey gonna uh, kill streaks. Even if it's a juggernaut, I don't care whatever the hell they are, you can have them. So yeah. Another thing to update is I'm gonna be doing an interactive video at some point, which is where you can click on the screen to take you to a few different opportunities, but I'm not gonna say too much on that because it's in the making and it um and then it needs a bit of work on. It's finished, but it's one of them videos where you think actually it looks quite good but it's just not that good kind of thing it needs to be up a little bit so yeah now at this point guys I am realizing we're losing now we're not losing so much so that the game's definitely they're gonna win it but we're losing at a point where it's anyone's game so I'm gonna be changing my playstyle I'm gonna be mixing it up a little bit because I don't want to lose the game I don't want to lose the game it's it's called G I mean what what's the point in losing the game so I'm gonna get hot on the flags gonna get my motion sensor down gonna stop being a little bit more rushy but you know I'm, I'm still gonna keep my caution around us now Best way to play domination, take two flags. Never ever ever take three flags. Only only ever take three flags is if you have if if you're is if you're definitely losing the game and you have to to pull it back. Now, it's difficult for me because I'm one of those people who's always played in a party of at least three or at least two or you know, who's always tends to be in a party of six. So it's kind of a bit you're kind of on your own and you feel like <laughs> I don't know, you just you're like a lone wolf when you're playing domination by yourself because I'm used to having call outs, I'm used to having people stealing my kills and I'm used to having people saying oh I'm on this flag you go for that one or I'm watching this flag I'll go for this one you know so strange now on that note I am going to say about adding subscribers now from now on guys I'm not too sure if I can add all my subscribers because I think my friends list has been full about four times now and I'm having to delete people who I still like who I like to play with and that's because I'm adding subscribers so subscribers can add Lynx Warlord the PSN will be LYNX Warlord and they can add an uh, old account of mine which is just MHDW that was my first PSN account so if you want to play with me add those accounts and I'll be on them sometimes guys not sometimes because I can't really add people on my main account anymore because I've got a lot of subscribers on there and I've got a lot of a lot of um, my old friends from school a lot of friends from college and a lot of friends from who have just picked up over the years through Hubbard Gaming. Now if you do want a team and you do need a team to play with definitely go to HubbardGaming.com I'll um, I'll put a link in the description in fact to that website because that website will find you a team that's how I found my fantastic team who I play with constantly now they are an amazing team guys and for all of, for all of those people who think running by themselves is better it's definitely not guys because if you run into a full team like actually this team that I was playing with uh, against now they were a full team this was a clan and I managed to beat them by myself this is a Brilliant, brilliant rate to run solo. However, if you're in a team, you can definitely win more. Winning more definitely comes from playing with a team because you get really objective uh, oriented people and really good kill hole ob objective oriented people. And you know, it's really good. I highly recommend it. The best thing in Call of Duty is running with a team. So this comment is definitely winding down now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have rattled on for a very, very long time. So if anyone is still watching at this point, thank you very much for watching. It has been Link's Warlord, and that was a, what was it again? It was an 1896 domination on the map dome 636 thank you very much guys